Hello, my name is Arnold Muñez and I will be your MAPI teacher of the day. Alright, uh, last time around we were able to discuss on the Southeast Asian music, uh, MAPI Grid 8. We were able to have uh, three uh, uh, videos for that. And uh, now uh, we'll uh, proceed to MAPI Arts, Grade 8. Mm -hmm. Southeast Asian arts, just like in the music, Southeast Asian music. Now we have our, we will have our uh, Southeast Asian arts. But before that, I would like to say thank you for those who uh, subscribed and uh, followed me on uh, Facebook page, uh, Mapi Teacher Ako, and uh, on YouTube, Mapi Teacher Ako channel. And thank you for that. For thank you for the subscribes and the support and the. And the messages and the, and the inquiries on whatever that you want to inquire all right thank you for that and i hope this video would uh you know would help you a little all right. and uh, because we're discussing the the southeast asian arts it is inevitable for us not to discuss or review on the elements of art and that's why the first thing that we're going to do is to review on the elements of art so that we will be able to understand deeply on uh, the Southeast Asian arts. Hmm. To start with, we'll have uh, the elements of art. So let's uh, bring this uh, slide uh, open. Uh, elements of art by Christine Fatima Petero. Thank you for this slide and <laughs> I hope you're still around. Mm, thank you for that. So, now, let's have the elements of art. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yeah. Art is the product of, or process of deliberately arranging items in a way that influences and affects one or more of the senses, emotions, and intellect. The elements of art are the building blocks used by artists to create a work of art. So without the elements of art, there can be no artwork at all. Alright, so that you have to understand about it. <laughs> so we have the seven elements of art right here. We have line, shape, form, value, texture, color, and space. So let's start with the line. The line is a mark that is made on a surface or outline. So what this line implies is uh, you know every line should imp sh every line should have implications and should have uh, should imply on something and defined by a point moving in a space uh, can be two or three dimensional descriptive implied or abstract so when we talk about dimensional it's it's going to be two dimensional two dimensional descriptive it should be describing something and it, it should imply something or no implication, no impression, no description at all because it's an abstract and the only person that can uh, definitely uh, explain on an abstract <laughs> artwork is the artist himself. The problem is if the artist is really long gone, nobody will be explaining it unless the creator would do that. All right. The, um, there are five kinds of line. We have the horizontal line, we have the curve, a vertical line, we have the diagonal line, curved line, and the zigzag line. What are these kinds of line? A horizontal line is lines that run parallel to the ground, just like a horizon. You know, if you so what's the what it implies? Uh, you know, the the meaning of a uh, that horizontal line. So if you see a horizon, you know, ano bang na feel nyo? but you feel at peace you feel uh, you feel you feel that serenity deep inside that's why marami pumupunta sa sa beach or kaya sa boulevard just to see that uh, horizontal line across oh sa malayo oh because it, it you can really feel uh, at peace nawawala yung mga problema if you see that uh, horizontal line and of course pag mga pagpatay na Yun ang nagiging line. So, mm, dead. Wala na. Alright, what about vertical line? Vertical line implies power. So, nakakita na ba kayo ng uh, tao na nakahiga na powerful? And hindi, di ba? So, he, he should stand or she should stand for the for that powerful uh, uh, implications of of a line uh, manifested. Alright. Just like that. Oh. Show power and strength. 
that kind of line. Mm -hmm. Proceed that I. What about diagonal line? Diagonal lines are lines that slant. Okay, and it, it implies uh, submission, a weakness, or being weak. Oh, ganyan. Have you seen the Fieta work, artwork of you know, Mama Mary and uh, Jesus Christ? Uh, Jesus Christ be, uh, being held in the arms of Mama Mary. And the, the that line of Jesus Christ was a slant line. Actually, it, it's, uh, it, it means... It, he submitted already to the greater for the greater good and for the greater power. Okay, wala na siyang magawa dun. That's why it's in the diagonal line. <laughs> lines that slant. What about curved lines? So curved lines that change direction gradually. So from the word gradually, it indicates efficiency, uh, grace. Okay, it's like the, if you're uh, if you have been watching uh, people who are basketball coaches, mo pag nagdraw draw sila na oh magdribble ka na papunta dun. You're t they are really using that kind of line because uh, it it indicates uh, efficiency and you know uh, smart and grace and uh, and all. Okay, that's uh, what we mean when we talk about curve line. What about zigzag lines? Lines that are made by combining diagonal lines that change direction, the abrupt change because of the edges. Uh, it it connotes and implies anger. Okay, anxiety, confusion. So that's what the zigzag line about. It's like a lightning, diba? Anger, you know? Boom! A sudden burst of uh, emotion. So that line, uh, I mean, it implies, or the implication of that line, or the, it, that line implies about, you know, the one that being anger. Being angry, I mean, sorry. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Next to that is we have another element which is shape. It has always two dimensional length as well as width. It represents as an enclosed area that is uh, defined by color. It's like this. So we have categories of shapes, geometric shapes, which you know that we've been using it in mathematics. Huh? Mm, uh, organic shapes, just like that, you know, come from. Uh, came from an organic uh, shape just like a, a, a bird a tree you know you know you ha you don't have control over it because it's an organic shape kind of now we have positive shape and negative shape when we talk about uh, positive shape the one that black airplane surrounded by white is the positive space or oh, positive shape I mean when we talk about negative shape it's the black surrounding that white plane that color all right so we call it the positive shape and negative shape totally different what about static shape and dynamic shape uh, uh, just like that just like a moon it appears stable and resting you could hardly see the moon it could it hardly moves right while dynamic shape it appears as moving and active just like your the signs of your cell phone signals looks like look looks exactly like that all right what about form another element of art is form has always three dimensions length width and height types of form we have cube cylinder cone sphere and yeah looser form is self-explanatory what about value refers to the changes in the base color R range from lightness and darkness within the picture so the value the from bright brightness to Darkness from light to dark, from black to white, to white to black, something like that. So categories of value: we have the tint and the shade. So difference is tint. If you add white colors and you want to make your artwork bright, brighter, you use tint. While if you want to make your artwork darker, you use shade because you are applying dark colors or black colors in it. So that's the difference between the two, the shade, shade and the tint. What about high key and low key? So if we talk about high, the contrast is high, you could always see the brightness and lightness of the, the picture. And if it's in low key, we're talking about the darkness value of it. That's why, this, this why the, the, the two picture right there is really contrasting. What about value contrast and value scale? So value contrast, we all know that it's the abrupt and uh, the abrupt cut of color from 
being white and being dark the contrast a bit no no gradual uh, change well while the value scale is the opposite a bit it's the gradual change of color okay the degradation from dark to light so uh, slowly but slowly and slowly but slowly that's why it creates something awesome but the same as value contrast it creates awesome uh, contrasting colors from dark from dark boom light sudden change of it okay here we go and uh, texture the quality of surface of the or the way any work of art is represented okay there are categories of texture the real texture and implied texture so when we talk about the real texture if you are if you're into uh, mm, how what do you call that one uh, sculpture okay those are real texture in a sculpture because you, you could really touch that and feel that in your arm in your hands in your senses and uh, in your yeah so if you're carving uh, a durian fruit well the skin should be sharp enough just like the real durian not the other way around you're you are carving you're doing a sculpture of a durian fruit yet the skin are, are smooth well it contradicts the the whole essence of it well the implied texture the same because implied which is just an impression of it so if you're if you're painting uh, or drawing a durian fruit although it's just a drawing you can actually feel the sharpness edges the sharp of sharpness of the edges of the skin or if you are painting fire you should really feel it you should really feel the fire that's how texture works implied texture and real texture what about color color has three characters you know? color is just one of the most important part of the elements actually all are important color has three characteristics which are characteristics which are you the value and the intensity you means the shade the yellow red red or pink well, the value refers to the lightness of the darkness of each color. While well, the intensity refers to the brightness or dullness of work of bars, the vibrance of each color. You could have a red color, but it's not uh, it's dull enough. It doesn't shine bright because it lacks intensity. Or the artist it's himself or herself, uh, the intention of doing it, being not so not being dull and being not dull or the vibrance is to you know it was an intention <laughs> intention of the artist space is a creation of visual perspective that gives the illusion of depth so if you're into photography you really need that depth of field you know just to separate your subject from your background or to you know for you to be able to come up with the book bouquet uh, uh, style something like that so bouquet b-o-r-a-h it's bouquet so Yun, yeah, you really need that space to, uh, you know, to separate from, uh, you know, from that far away. Just like that, you know, just like that, the background I have in my, I have in my, uh, there in my back, uh, behind me. Uh, it creates so much space. You can really see that uh, the pagodas are far away or closer, that, closer to me. Just like that. That space, that, that, that river that that water something there that bridge so it creates space uh, that is actually uh, from uh, Vietnam and there you are we're done with the that was that was cool those 14 minutes for a review or something okay but uh, without further ado let's proceed to our Southeast Asian music and by that and with that I have prepared I have prepared uh, a video for that okay here we go so watch this one and you know do some reflection if you want to Southeast Asian arts arts and crafts Thailand Thai Sky Lantern Festival 
The sky lanterns, made out of rice paper with bamboo frame, which contain a fuel cell or small candle. They are used during the year of festivals, are also commonly called Ashwish lanterns. Loikrthong Festival, the most popular festival, held the 12th full moon, usually in November. Cambodia Handicrafts are part of their traditional culture and their livelihood, just like textiles, baskets, jars, pottery, tools for daily use. Laos Making Paper Laotian make paper by hand in the wider region for over 700 years using the bark of the local sa or the mulberry tree. It is used for calligraphy, making festive temple decorations, umbrellas, and fans. The sa paper has been revived in particularly in Luang, Prabang, Northern Laos. It's used to create lamp shades, writing paper, greeting cards, and bookmarks. How to make the sa paper? First, the mulberry bark is crushed and soaked in water until it dissolves into a paste. Next to that is the liquid is then scooped out, poured through a bamboo sieve, and finally placed in a thin layer on a bamboo bed and dried in the sun. Vietnam Silk painting is one of the most popular forms of art in Vietnam, favored for the mystical atmosphere that can be achieved with the medium. Typically showcase the countryside, landscapes, pagodas, historical events, 
or scenes of daily life. Indonesia. The Wayang Kulit is a puppet shadow play performed around the Indo Malayan archipelago, tracing its origin to India. Wayang, in modern Indonesian language, means show or perform. Others say that Wayang is also attributed to the Indonesian word Bayang, which means shadow. Kulit means skin, a reference to the leather material that uh, the figures are carved out of. Wayang Kulit is derived from a Javanese Hindu Buddhist tradition where handcrafted leather or leather puppets depict epic stories of the gods. The show the puppets are moved behind a cotton or linen screen by a dalang or a puppet master in a shadow puppet play. The dalang tells the story, interprets, and voices for each character, producing sound effects with speech and movement and manipulates all the figure between the lamp and the screen to bring the shadows to life. Most shadow play is based on two epic stories from India, the Mahabharata and Ramayana. The Balinese and Javanese have combined the Hindu stories with Buddhist and Muslim ideas mixed with their own folklore. Malaysia Wow Kite is a unique designed Malaysian kite. Its wings are similar to an Arabic letter and is pronounced as Wow. Farmers used kites as scarecrows in the fields and as a means to lull their children to sleep so they could work with little interruption. Pasir Gudang is their International Kite Festival. Sungkok is a cap widely worn in Indonesia, Brunei, Malaysia, Singapore, the southern Philippines, and southern Thailand. Mostly worn by male Muslims in formal situations such as weddings feast or wedding feast, funerals, or festive occasions such as the Muslim Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. 
Song Kong is also called Pesi or Kupia. There are categories of men's headgears. The star is a piece of cloth tied around the head. Sungko or kupya, a type of cap made from velvet. Tengkolo or shirban resembles a turban and is a typical headdress in the Middle East. Thank you. All right, there you are, our uh, uh, prepared video for that uh, Southeast Asian music. So um, we've learned about uh, some elements, not some, but the seven elements of arts. And uh, we're so able to uh, watch on the video and, you know, that talks about Thailand, and uh, some other Southeast Asian countries with their art forms. Uh, we have uh, the lanterns, the kite, the sock painting, the paper making, and the hat making of Brunei, the cup making, I mean. And uh, yeah, this country is really awesome. So if you have questions on that, feel free to uh, comment down below <laughs> because uh we won't be having any questions uh today but uh, next time around we will have because it's the the, the video is too long now okay so thank you uh that was uh, southeast asian arts okay uh, their handicrafts and the art forms and uh with that, I'm saying goodbye for now, and thank you once again. Thank you for subscribing to my Mappy Teacher Roku YouTube channel, and of course to my to following my uh, Facebook uh, page uh, Mappy Teacher Roku. So, if you want to, you know, keep updated to my videos, you can actually subscribe to my Mappy Teacher Roku YouTube channel, and. Uh, with that, I'm saying uh, thank you and see you again next time. This has been your MAPI teacher, Arnold Nara Munez.